What if I told you that Deadpool and Wolverine's latest romp is the most possum Marvel mashup ever? Oh, groovy, smashing. I'll bark about all the plot twists and turns that will have you chasing your tail in excitement. So this is huge for me. I'm excited. Stick around, or you'll miss out on the epic showdown that's got every doggo's ears perked up. Yeah, when they heard you were a seminarian, they really perked up. First off, this movie was packed with enough comedy to keep even the grumpiest old bulldog grinning. Someone so beautiful should not be so angry. Deadpool's one-liners were sharper than my teeth on a new chew toy, and Wolverine's growls had me wagging my tail in delight. You know, afternoon delight. The plot was twistier than my leash when I see a squirrel full of meta references that made me feel like I was in on the joke. I don't get the joke. So, let's dig into the plot, shall we? Yeah, I dig. Deadpool, the sassiest merc with a mouth, discovers that a live Wolverine exists in another universe. We thought you were dead. Uh, this sparks a mission to recruit him and save Deadpool's own universe. Maybe the universe is trying to tell you something. From an impending disaster orchestrated by the Time Variance Authority. In this song, Phil Collins addresses the problems of abusive political authority. TVA. Picture me with my ears perked up and tail wagging in suspense as Deadpool and Wolverine journey through different dimensions. Another dimension like when you go through the door is it another plane of existence including a place called the void a barren wasteland filled with remnants of the 20th century fox era and other discarded marvel elements it was like sniffing out the last treat in a forgotten corner of the yard there will be so many treats and not just on sunday deadpool's antics are as unpredictable as a game of fetch that is so he breaks the fourth wall so often you'd think he was trying to dig under a fence. His comments on the plot's ridiculousness and the superhero genre itself are pure gold, making even the stiffest old hound chuckle. You're hilarious, Richard. You're just a regular riot. Wolverine, on the other paw, is his usual grumpy self, providing the perfect foil to Deadpool's zany humor. He's endearing and, and quirky. Their banter is like a chew toy tug of war full of playful bites and tugs. It was like the Lord and the devil was having a tug of war in my gut. Their journey is filled with action scenes that had me barking with excitement. I must admit, the idea of doing it in my sister's bed gives me a perverse thrill. From intense battles to explosive set pieces, the movie doesn't skimp on the thrills. One moment, they're slicing and dicing their way through enemies, and the next, they're hurling hilarious insults at each other. You know, like witty banter thing. It's, it's nothing serious. It's a possum blend of action and comedy that kept me engaged, even if there were no actual dogs to cheer for. The dog, where are they? But let's get real. No dogs. Not even a cameo of a pup chasing its tail. Come on, Hollywood, throw us a bone here. You throw me a bone, for Christ's sake! Despite that, the movie kept me on the edge of my seat mostly because I was rolling around laughing at the action and the banner. I'm cracking up, you know what I mean? It's like they took a squeaky toy and turned it into a script. Squeaky clean fun with some gnarly twists. Do you hear it? It's a funny squeaky sound. As the plot thickens, we see Deadpool and Wolverine facing off against the TVA's leader, played by an excessively theatrical Matthew McFadden. The stakes are high but the irreverent tone keeps things light. This may be solid gold, but to us it's lighter than air because dreams never weigh you down. Deadpool's self-awareness and constant jabs at the superhero genre add a layer of fun, making the movie feel like a playful romp through a dog park filled with Marvel Easter eggs. There's a black man in our kitchen cooking eggs. The climax brings an epic showdown where Deadpool and Wolverine's alliance is put to the test. My alliance is good enough! There's plenty of action, humor, and unexpected twists to keep you hooked. But in the end, it was just an average movie. Allow me to clarify. In a sequentially ranked hierarchy based on level of critical importance, the disparity between us is too vast to quantify. Agent Stone, the doctor thinks you're basic. Not a total dog's breakfast, but not a blue ribbon at the dog show either. The plot was entertaining, but it felt like chasing your tail after a while. The chase, the thrill of the hunt, and the sudden shafts of bright light fun but ultimately going in circles speaking of going in circles why not break the cycle and fetch yourself some possum yogi Sinsta merch we've got t-shirts hoodies coffee mugs and so much more each purchase helps supports us in bringing you more tail wagging movie reviews so if you love our content and want to keep those tails wagging head over to our store and check out all the cool stuff we have for you order right now
So if you're looking for a flick to tickle your funny bone and keep your ears perked up, Deadpool and Wolverine is worth a watch. Are you stupid? I hate watching movies. Just don't expect any furry friends or epic squirrel chases. Until next time, keep your tails wagging and your popcorn popping. Woof, woof.